Welcome to the Using the Discussion Tool demo. In this demo, you will learn how to navigate and use the Discussion Tool in D2L Brightspace. At the end of this demo, you will know how to find and reply to topics in your D2L Brightspace course. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. Once you are inside of your course, Click on the Course Tool drop-down menu on the Course Navigation Bar and choose the Discussion link. You will enter into the Discussions List tab, which shows all of the discussion forms and topics. First, click on the Settings link in the top right of your screen. Note, changes made to Settings at the course level only affect the current course you are in. To make the changes for all courses, use the Account Settings link from your Name drop-down menu on the Global Navigation Bar. Ensure that there is a check mark in the first check box, Personal Settings, Display Settings, that says Always Show the Discussion List pane. You can also decide whether or not to include the original message in your replies. Most of the time, you will not want to check this option. Lastly, although you probably want to leave your default view as the reading view, if you want to print the discussion, this is where you change your default view to grid view. I'm going to leave the setting on reading view for this demonstration. Click the Save button at the bottom of the page. You are now back on the main discussions page. Here you can filter messages by selecting the view unread messages only. This toggle button will list only the forms that have unread messages. Select it again to see all forms. Under the title of the overall form there may be some directions that apply to all of the topics listed under that form. To hide all of the topics under a particular form, click the drop-down arrow next to the title of the form. Then click the link for Hide Topics. To unhide the topics, click on the Show Topics link displayed under the form. Under each topic title, there may be some directions that apply to only that topic. The next columns tell you how many threads are in the topic, how many posts there are, how many unread in parentheses, and who made the last post. To compose or read a discussion message, click on the title of the discussion topic you want to open. You'll notice that once you open a topic, all of the forms remain visible in the list on the left side of the page. To show all of the topics within a form, click on the form name. Each topic name in the list has a number in a bubble to the right, which shows how many unread messages are in that topic. In the center area of your screen, you will see the list of messages within this topic. Message titles with a blue bar to the left side are unread. You have the ability to expand the message thread and its replies by clicking on the title. To return, click on the topic in the list on the left. You can subscribe to the topic by clicking on the subscribe link. The star is colored in gray when you are subscribed. If a rubric is attached, you'll find it below the subscribe link. Click on the link to see the grading rubric. You are able to filter or view the messages by unread, flagged, or draft threads. You can search for a particular word or author of a post within a topic by typing it in the search field, then click the search icon.
To post a thread, click on the Start New Thread button to create your message. Type in your subject or title in the subject line. Then click in the message box to type your message. You are automatically subscribed to your threads with this checkbox. Notice that you can add attachments, such as documents, pictures, spreadsheets, etc. And you can add audio recordings. When you're finished with your message and in the attachments, click the post button. Once you post your message, you will be returned to the topic that you were in. To reply to someone else's post, click on the title of the post, then click the Reply to Thread button. Type in your message and click the Post button. You will see your post at the top of the list under any pinned messages that your instructor wants to leave at the top. If you want to go back to the topic, just click on the topic title on the left side of the page. You can also use the breadcrumb trail to navigate. To go back to the main discussion page, click the discussions list link in the upper left side of the page. You have now successfully used the discussion tool.